there! Today we'll have a look at this pen, and this pen is from a brand that I've received a lot of review requests for. Oh, sorry, wrong side. Manuscript. Manuscript. Manuscript makes a lot of calligraphy sets, and uh, uh, this pen was sent to me by Cult Pens, for which I'm very grateful. Uh, it comes in this uh, cardboard sleeve, and a, car a, a uh, tin. It's in a tin, which is actually quite decent, and this is their um, italic calligraphy pen. It has a 1.1 millimeter nib, and the tin is just, you know, with a foam cut out. It's, it's nothing spectacular, but it is nice. And here we have the pen. I'm going to cover the parts of the pen. I'll tell you what I like about it, what I don't like about it, and then I'll do a writing sample. Uh, the pen has a very plasticky feeling, but it is not smooth plastic. It has a little bit of texture to it, giving it almost rubbery feeling, which, to be honest, I quite enjoy. It gives a good grip. Um, a nice classic shape, I would say. It's, it's not particularly small. It's not huge either, at least capped. Let's look at the parts of the pen. So... Here we have the finial, as you can see, it's a sort of matte plastic, um, and right there it says Germany, and you have a clip, you have the manuscript M, and then all the way at the end you have something. And I got all excited thinking, oh, piston filler, but this is just um, a piece of plastic that unscrews. You could put in an emergency pack of crap salad in there. Um, then the, um, the cap is just... A slip cap uh, which you can take off and then here you have the actual section which you can see is metal what I really enjoy I don't know how well you can see that I'm trying to make this focus so that's as close as I can get um, this bit is actually see-through you can see the nib and feet in there which I kind of like you see these ridges nice simple shape of the section and then you have the 1.1 millimeter uh, italic nib. It's a pretty sharp italic, so the corners are actually sharp, they're not really rounded off, uh, which makes for a, a pretty nice calligraphy nib. The pen is fed by either a converter, which is not supplied, or standard international short cartridges. Alright, what do I like about the pen, what do I not like about the pen? Well, to be honest, I like the overall looks. Simple, classic design. But that kind of works as far as I'm concerned. You can post the pen because this is plastic and the section is metal. It has a very nice balance. And even when you post it, the balance, I would say, is very good. Um, I like the nib. The nib is 1.1 millimeter metallic, so it's not a huge nib, but it definitely gives a lot of nice line variation. Uh, the feed is very good. It flows really well, and that's very nice, and for a calligraphy pen, very important, because you have skips and hard starts that really ruins your calligraphy. I, I enjoy that. I like the shape of the section, but what I don't like so much about it is two things. One, for me, it's very thin. I would probably prefer something a little bit thicker than this. That's personal preference. But the thing that I think will be a bit more objective is that these rings, you may see there are some grooves on the section, uh, I find them relatively sharp, so I can really feel them uh, digging into my skin as I hold it. They do provide a good grip, which is also important for calligraphy, because you don't want the section to rotate, but for, as far as I'm concerned, a little bit too sharp. I like that see-through section in the feet, but it doesn't really have a purpose. You can't see the... Um, converter or cartridge in there so you can really see how much ink you have left. So in this pen the only way to check how much ink there is is actually opening it up and just seeing. Um, I like the balance of the pen so overall I think it's a pretty decent cool pen. These are not super expensive so if you're interested in learning calligraphy of course any calligrapher will tell you dip nibs are the way to go but they also have annoying traits, such as you have to re-dip them every few words, sometimes even every few characters. A pen like this will give you a good steady flow, making practice a lot easier, but usually they sacrifice sharpness of the nib a little bit. But in all, if you're learning how to do calligraphy, I think you could do a lot worse than get something like this. And even if you just want a fountain pen that's not too expensive, but that adds character to your writing, an italic nib is usually very good for that. It really allows you to uh, make your words look a little bit more fancy, for lack of a better word. Okay, 
let's have a look at the pen's dimensions. Before I do a writing sample, uh, I have capped 139.2 millimeters, that's 5.48 inches. I have 4.86 inches or 123.6 millimeters uncapped. Section diameter ranges from 8.8 .8 millimeters or 0.34 inch to 10.8 millimeters or 0.42 of an inch. Valve diameter is about 0.46 or 11.8 inches at the widest point. Now, the next thing we want to see, of course, is the weight. With the metal section, I expect some weight, but all the rest is plastic, so not a tremendously heavy pen. And according to my scale, it chimes in at 26 grams, which is indeed a decent weight, but not super heavy. Okay, thanks again to Culpens for sending the pen. Let's see what this pen can do. We'll see it in action. That's what we'll do next. I hope this was useful, and I gladly see you later. Bye bye. Okay, so here we go with the manuscript. My, 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 um, oh, that's M U U S M manuscript calligraphy italic this is a 1.1 millimeter stub and the ink is Waterman South Sea Blue which now has another name which I don't know it could be North Sea Blue we do not know you have to figure it out let's do some writing you definitely feel the sharpness of this nib so when you misalign it it will cut into the paper which is not necessarily a bad thing it just means that you get very nice crisp lines which is what you want for calligraphy so writing in cursive like this you would actually require a cursive italic for this and this is not but you can still use it I will do some calligraphy in a second okay let's do some fast writing the nice thing I did find about this pen is that the feed does keep up pretty well with your writing. And of course, even if you don't use it for calligraphy, the nice thing about a nib like this is that it will add a lot of character to your handwriting. Okay, wetness, well, no complaints there. And line variation, you can squeeze some out, but of course, this being an italic nib, this is no pressure, you see that you get thin strokes in this diagonal and broader strokes in these diagonals and then thinners in those again. So what would you use that for? Well, uh, you can do all kinds of things. Um, calligraphy with small pens is not exactly my forte. Some would say that calligraphy is not really my forte. But with an adequate pen like this you can definitely do calligraphy of all kinds of styles not copper plate but um, that's a terrible D uh, or you know uh, gothic styles fractures you can do foundational you can do all kinds of things with it and it would look something like this okay so that's what that's the, the, the main purpose of these pens um, reverse writing it's possible, but it is an italic, not a round nib, so you don't really gain much in that, and also you see it's much drier, so I wouldn't really recommend that. Okay, thanks kindly to Cult Pens for sending me this pen, I appreciate it. Guys, I hope this was useful, and um, I'll gladly see you later. Bye-bye.